as I get older, my roles are getting more and more interesting. And I cannot believe that. I mean, I've, I have been so blessed, but the last two, three years in particular, since really 2005, it's just been utterly incredible. Um, and it is me that chooses. It really is. Um, even some, you know, I sometimes go for something that will surprise my agents, and they go, really? Wow, OK, well, you know, we didn't think you were going to go for that one. Um, but I just, I just really trust my instinct. You know, sometimes it's literally a knee-jerk reaction. Sometimes I'll hear a title of a script, and I'll say to Sam, oh, you know, Hilda, who's my agent in Los Angeles, who I've been with since I was 17, Hilda sending a script. It's called Such and Such. I've got a feeling about it. And then I'll read it and go, there you go. It was like Little Children. It was exactly that happened. So I'm sending you a script called Little Children. I went, oh, oh. I mean, it's, f it's really odd. It's very, very weird. It's, and it, it can sometimes be a tiny thing like that. Um, but it's, 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 it's a purely instinctive thing for me. Um, there, are, there are certain similarities I should interject with. The, the only other person I knew who chose scripts with the same kind of intuitive uh, strangeness that Kate does was Judy Dench, who used to not read the script at all. <laughs> But she used to not, she did, she, there were plays that she, she agreed to do certain plays, in fact, one of them with me, and she hadn't read it, and she admitted to having not read it on the first day after she did the <laughs> read for it. But what she did, used to do was to get her husband, Michael Williams, who's sadly no longer with us, but he used to tell her the story of the play. He used to read it, tell her the story, and then occasionally she would, read a, she would crack it and read a speech, and then she'd, and she'd look at the director and the theatre and, and the other people in it, and she'd make her judgment. And um, it was a kind of, you know, it, it was taking the ridiculous act of faith of saying yes to any role to the nth degree. I mean, it is a huge act of, it's a leap in the dark. Yeah. However well you think you know what's gonna, what the experience is going to be, it's never actually that. You know? mm. It's always just a jump yeah. into the dark. It really is. And sometimes it's unbelievably terrifying. I mean, with April, you know, the pressure to get it right, uh, you know, I did feel this huge, enormous pressure um, because the, it was so important to me. But when the chips are down, you just have to push the demons aside and just say, no, nope, I'm here. And I will do this the way I believe it should be done. And uh, you know, you'll know, you hear other people's opinions and thoughts and so on and so forth. But just hanging on to what I believe in, it's done me all right so far. <laughs>